So this is the uh, first in a multi-part series. We're going to go through um, a, an example workflow. In this case, we have a, um, a sample in which the DAPI didn't stain quite as well as we would have hoped. Um, and the goal is to quantify the cytoplasmic signal here in the red. And so instead, we're going to use the bright field channel to run into elastic and generate an area that will allow us to normalize to the image field of view for the red signal um, and quantify it that way. In this one, we're going to use a macro to export to TIFF. We want to take just the bright field channel for that. And we're going to, we're going to cheat to some degree because I've already made the macro for you. Um, we're going to do a, an aside um, shortly after this one to go into how the macro was written and the, the kind of the workflow of how you would put a macro together from scratch. In this one, we're just going to drag and drop and have a quick look to see how it's made. I'm going to comment out these just for example's sake. Uh, and save that and run through what the actual macro does in, in the different steps. First, we're going to get the directory and then we're going to, from that directory that pops up with a dialog, we, it turns it into a list. That list is used in the for loop and then for each step on the for loop, this F list I, it's going to check if it ends with ND2 and if it does, it's going to do a little bit of string work and create a path string from the directory and the, each one of the list. It's then going to put that path string into a bioformat string that I'm creating here, which is what is then fed into the bioformats function to open the file. Um, once it's open, we're going to duplicate uh, just channel one, and then we're going to do a little bit more string work, but in this case, replace with a dot tiff on the end. Then we're going to save and then close the windows and repeat. So all we have to do to run that is click run at the bottom. We select the folder and we've already selected it before, but you would select on the last folder you wanted to and then hit run and it's going to pop up the windows and close all the other windows and pop up the windows and close in a sequence this is not that efficient it's nice to see what it's doing when you have multiple stages sometimes but once you're happy you should go ahead and, and always put that batch mode on it if you can and then we're going to run that instead so let's get rid of these, uh, these comments and save that and run that one again and we will see that we're about twice as fast um, and that will make a big difference if you have a long list of files or if you have a very big files. Um, and that's it. That's generated our TIFFs for us. You can always take those TIFFs and drag them back on and have a look just to make it make, make sure it made sense. 16-bit uh, TIFF here and, and the dimension correct, etc., etc. In the next one, we're going to do a, a kind of step-by-step -step guide on how to make this particular macro. We're also going to talk about the the Python JFUN Macro 2, and maybe in slightly less detail, but that's available for you too if you'd rather use that one.